He was an incredible man, captivating the world with his strength, determination, and humor. But what stood out most was Muhammad Ali's impact during the civil rights movement. Tonight marks four years since Muhammad Ali's death. He dedicated his life to serving others, fighting for freedom for all religions, even if they were not different from his. 12 Sports' Chirsten Soussel today spoke with Ali's daughter and grandson as they look back at his accomplishments as a civil rights icon. This is something that really would have spoken to him. Obviously, what he cared about most was our people, you know, that our people get their just due and get their rights and that they deserve justice. Even during difficult moments like this, as his wife, our stepmother, so eloquently said today, his voice is needed now more than ever. Muhammad Ali is one of the most influential athletes of all time. He always stood up for what he believed and never back down. My intention is to box, to win a clean fight. But in war, the intention is to kill, 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 and continue killing innocent people. Ali loved himself and he loved others and was front and center in the fight against social injustice. Now his daughter Kalia and grandson Jacob want to remind the world of the lessons of love and equality. He loved himself with no exception. And for anyone, when they love themselves with no exception, it makes it possible for you to love others. His self-love and his self-confidence and his faith in who he was and who he came from and his lineage was so great that he was able to openly accept so many people in open arms because he knew just how great humans could be. Long before Ali became one of the best heavyweights of all time, he was introduced to the sport by a police officer. Many know the story, but perhaps it's more relevant now than ever. You know, someone stole his bike, and being just a young kid, you know, he loved his bike, and he's just kind of sitting on the side of the road, and a police officer comes up to him, and he approaches him, and he says, you know, guy stole my bike, I want my bike back, and how hurt he is. And he said, look, if you want something, if you want to protect what's yours, you need to learn to fight for it. You need to defend what's yours. And that officer took him in, and he took him and introduced him to boxing. That interaction between my father and that police officer technically gave birth to a career, to a life that has been celebrated by so many and has caused such change in this world. But it speaks to our highest aspirations in humanity, who we can be when we're at our best. Ollie left this earth four years ago, but the lessons of his legacy will always be present. I believe it's on our generation now to take the lead and kind of lead that transition to build a brighter future. Kirsten Soussel, 12 Sports.